Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenncarcollection.com and I'm introducing my new to me Honda S2000. You know what, I'm gonna roll up the windows so it's not too windy. So, I'm back in the S2000 game after a almost a three year hiatus. I sold my 13,000 mile red 2006 Honda S2000 in June of 2018. I had lost my job in September of 2017, was unemployed for about six months. Unfortunately, I had to let that car go to pay some bills. I had started a new job in 2018. However, back to being a commission real estate uh, broker, I needed some money now, and it takes a little while to close. You know, deals take a year, sometimes two years in commercial real estate to close. So I needed some fast cash, and unfortunately, I had to let that S2000 go. And since I sold it in June of 2018, I knew it was a mistake. I knew selling my first one was a mistake, which was a 9,000 mile 04 in Sebring Silver. That was a mistake selling that car as well. So I'm not making that mistake anymore. So this is my third one and this one's a keeper. So I always wanted yellow. I came, I, I like uh, red, new formula red, it's called. I love the AP2s. My love of uh, S2000s actually started with an AP1. But as far as you know, driving around and, and doing a lot of things with it, I, I do prefer the AP2. So all the S2000s I've actually owned have been AP2s. I love this uh, sweet shifting six-speed manual. And you can't go wrong with either car. Uh, if you never had one before, maybe you should have an AP1 first. But they are phenomenal, phenomenal cars. VTEC, yo, S2K for life. So I decided I wanted either Laguna Blue, but then one of my friends got Laguna Blue. New Formula Red is what I had last time, or Rio Yellow Pearl. The problem is every time I found a Rio Yellow Pearl car, it had always been repainted, and this is a three-stage paint, and it's very, very difficult to match. So anytime I found one, uh, I was looking all across the country, and that's what I think you have to do for S2000s. Even though they made a lot of them, there's just like the NSX, there's very few good ones. And I would say there are even very few good S2000s. Because they made these cars for so long, it's, uh, they were cheap cars, and people modded them out, put suspension, raced them, they were great track cars. You know, nobody had any uh, idea, or at least most didn't, that this would ever be a collectible car. So it kind of made sense to just modify it and drive the heck out of it. To get power out of these cars, you do have to drive them uh, like you stole them. So, I was really searching the United States. Every time I found a yellow one, which I kept gravitating towards, and I remember sitting in one of these in the New York Auto Show back in the day, picturing myself owning a yellow one. And uh, every time I did like a, I would do a FaceTime call so the salesperson at that dealer could show it to me. They never had any of the 10 VIN tags and usually one or both bumpers were resprayed and it usually was done very cheaply and it didn't match very well. So I wanted, you know me, I like pristine cars with clean titles, you know, clean history, original paint. And this car had all of that. So I found this car in Florida. I found it in February. I, was, I wasn't I was even looking. I had just posted a video for you guys that I thought the S2000s were getting too expensive. People want 40,000, 45,000. I said, you know what, it's a $30,000 driving experience. If I could find a really clean one under 30,000 miles, I'm a buyer. Now, this is an 04, so the first year of the AP2. AP2s are 04 to 09. And I'll do, we'll do a lot of videos with this car. So I'll go over the interior and everything and what everything does. I'll do point of view videos. This is kind of just an introduction. So I got this car about six weeks ago and you haven't seen it. Uh, so there was an issue which I'll get to at the end of the video. So let me just give you some more background. So every time I, you know, uh, S2000 came up and I asked for information or a FaceTime call, either it was sold instantly, which maybe means it was a clean car with all 10 VIN tags. And there's nothing wrong with eight VIN tags or anything like that. But me, I want it pure the way it came from the factory. Uh, but a lot of times I would do calls and the cars would never ever check out. In fact, I would say three cars that I was in front of that had all VIN tags, I bought all 10 VIN tags, I bought all three. So typically if you have a real clean car, it sells that day. And if it's not a clean car, you know, that's why it's for sale and that's why I passed on it. You could certainly save money by getting an accident car or anything and that's totally fine. Drive these to enjoy. But I just like my car to be, all my cars to be kind of museum pieces, how they left the factory. So if you remember, my NSX is 2005. Now this is a 2004. My Sebring Silver car was an 04 and my need for uh, new Formula Red car was 2006. This has the most miles. I bought this one with 31,000 miles. So my three S2000s combined were only uh, 50,000 miles. <laughs> 
So I found this car and everything was fine about it. It had all the 10 VIN tags. I found this down in Florida. The only issue was it had tires from 2004. So a lot of people think, you know, tires rot from the inside out. So a lot of people think, oh, it only has 30,000 miles. It was never tracked. This car has a ton of tread and the tires are original. So it leads me to believe that it had a pretty easy life. I'm the third owner, but the second owner owned it from 2004. So somebody owned this car for a couple months, a couple hundred miles. Maybe they didn't think it was fast enough. Maybe they didn't want to drive stick all the time. Maybe they never drove it. At that time, they probably could have traded it in for close to what they paid. Second owner bought in 2004 and put 30,000 miles on it, essentially. I am the third owner of this car. So I technically bought this car February 15th. They didn't actually get to me between shipping and everything to the beginning of March when I did a, uh, a live video, not a live video, but a video of when it came to my house. Now I stopped that video when it came off the truck. And the reason I did that is there was an issue with this car. What I didn't know, and I think, you know, I bought it from a Toyota dealer. They probably sell hundreds of cars a month. So they probably didn't think anything of it. But this car had a clear bra on it from 2004. So when it came off the truck, I didn't want to put that in video because I wanted to talk to the dealer first, but it had so many, the clear bra looked awful. Landscapers, which way? We'll go this way. The clear bra looked awful. It must have been, you know, clear bras back then were a lot thicker. It looked like a big piece of plastic. I almost thought, and I paid extra for enclosed shipping. Also, let me backtrack a second. I needed a set of tires. So the dealer gave me the price of the car. Literally, it came up on Auto Trader for a second. I called the dealer. I bought it. The one thing that it didn't check out, it had original paint. It had the 10 VIN tags. What didn't check out were the tires were from 2004. So I told the dealer I want new tires. So they gave me the tires at their price. So essentially, I got a set of 4S tires, which cost about $900,000 for $500 installed for a new set. So I got brand new tires. And uh, the issue was, and I didn't know, I came off the truck and the dealer sent pictures, but they were kind of far away. And I guess I was too focused when I did the uh, FaceTime calls on the, uh, the Vintax. And I didn't notice it had a clear bra from 2004 in the bumper that was weathered, scratched, gashed. So when it came off the truck, I actually stopped filming because I wanted to talk to the dealer first before I put it on camera. And, uh, you know, it was it was disgusting. It was like I was afraid the paint was slashed underneath. So uh, the, the manager, not the manager, the sales, the sales manager I bought the car from didn't respond to my emails. They took pictures right away. Luckily, my shipping company always used a reputable shipper, took pictures upon delivery. It looked like the car was outside and needed the detail. And uh, it must have, when I bought it, I guess by the time the, the paperwork was done and the shipper came and they ordered tires for the car. That was the delay. They ordered tires for the car every time they installed them. So what happened was essentially a couple weeks had passed. And luckily my shipper took really good pictures. Maybe the car was sitting outside, could have been sold. And when I got it, it wasn't so much that I needed a detail, which it did, and I could do that, no big deal. I don't mind paying for that, no big deal. The problem was what the weathered clear bra, and I was afraid when we took it off, it would take the paint off. So the paint really had to be original, so it wouldn't come off. And typically if it's repainted, it would come off with the clear bra. And then the other thing that happened there is Oh, I lost my train of thought. The other problem was, is, you know, how much damage was the clear bra going to come when it was coming off? So I got an email the next day from the uh, general manager of the dealership. Hey, how was our service? How'd you like dealing with us? So I emailed him. I said, look, this is, your sales manager is ignoring me. I sent him the email, all the pictures. Nobody disclosed this clear bra. The pictures you sent me uh, it, were taken for far away. And I don't think that was on purpose. It was probably just across the lot or whatever. So I couldn't tell how bad that clear bra was. And he said, no problem, we'll fix it, we'll buy it back from you. And I said, that's great, but you're in Florida. I just paid $1,000 for enclosed shipping. I paid for a set of new tires, and uh, you're gonna have to ship this car from New Jersey back to Florida. So he said, hey, is there any way we can save the car? I said, I'd love to save the car, because I've been looking for an S2000 for years. The prices are getting crazy. Well, I didn't tell him that part. And uh, I said, if we could save this car, that would be great. So he actually paid, he reimbursed me every penny to have a professional remove this clear bra. And it was it was close to perfect underneath. So the clear bra was just old and weather. The paint was still original and perfect shape underneath. Uh, I paid to polish the car and to install a new clear bra. And that's, you know, I get the benefit of the new clear bra, so I couldn't ask the dealer to pay for that. So Clearwater Toyota did a fantastic job. Uh, Steven, I believe is his name, who's the general manager of the dealership. He did a fantastic job uh, 
paying to have this clear bra removed and now the car is perfect. So it was in the shop three, four weeks and that's why you haven't seen a video. I just got the car back about a week ago. Uh, then we had rain here. I couldn't really drive and record it. So this is the first time in a long time that uh, this is really my first video of the car and I've had it five every time you see the video, six weeks. So why did I choose the S2000? Well, let's go past this landscapers first. Oh God. You drive around during the day in New Jersey, Monday through Saturday, there's landscapers everywhere. Nobody cuts their own lawn. I don't either. I have a landscaper. All right, so why did I choose the S2000? Well, I was always trying to, you know, I wanted, I did that review of that Boxster GTS, which I loved. Boxster GTSs are still like 60 grand. Boxster S's 2013 and up like I like are 40 grand. So I kept coming back to the S2000. I kept saying, well, this car is like an S2000, but heavier. This car is like an S2000, but more expensive. And what I really just needed to do is get myself an S2000, but I had given up. So to me, I think this was kind of like fate. I lost my other two S S2000s. I wanted the uh, I wanted a yellow one. This just happened to come up while I was working from home, so I was able to see it. I was able to, even though it was a thousand miles away, buy it right away, get new tires. The only bad thing was the clear bra, and now that a professional took took it off, it's. Uh, it's as good as new. You're a celebrity driving a yellow sports car. I don't think people know what it is. They probably think it's a yellow whatever. I don't think they know it's a Honda. So it was just a phenomenal car. We're going to do a ton of videos with this car, I promise you. But I just wanted to get this video out. And uh, I really love being in the S2000 again. I will not sell this car. And uh, we're going to make a ton of videos for it and add as many miles as we can. It's an 04, only 31,000 original miles. And I look forward to many years of ownership with you guys. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.